Mayor Megan Barry is back in her office for the first time since the tragic passing of her son, Max. The 22 year old died in Colorado of an apparent drug overdose. News Channel 5's Kyle Horan talked with her today about the loss. The mayor says part of what has helped her deal with this is the outpouring of support from Nashville. Kyle. And she's not only talking about the people that are close to her, she's talking about the entire community here. Now, the mayor also reached out uh, to another grieving mother, one whose son was lost to a shooting. Let me just start with saying thank you. Uh, I'm so grateful, not only to you all and, and all of your kindnesses over the last week, but also just to the folks of, of Nashville and across the, the country. The mayor's office isn't usually this crowded, but for the past week or so, Nashville's mayor is used to being surrounded. This last nine days um, has, has been pretty... Uh, By compassion. I, I don't even know, I don't even have words. Megan Barry's son is gone, died of an apparent overdose, something so tragic a mother should never have to experience. We were asleep and at, at about three o'clock in the morning on Saturday, Sunday morning, I guess, uh, we had a knock at the door. Outside, there were two police officers who sat Barry down and told her the horrible news. He, he told me that Max had passed away and um, I, he had to repeat it several times because that was not what my brain could hear. Barry had reached out to a woman whose son had died before her own. And we sat on her couch and she showed me pictures of Jay's on and we talked and laughed and she, um, you know, and I, I said, I, d I don't know your pain and um, but I'm here. And then when Max died on Sunday, I reached back out to her and told her, you know, actually, now I do know your pain. Barry says she doesn't know which drugs killed her son, but she says that even before this, the city is moving to take on the opioid epidemic. Now, Mayor Barry says her next step is to take her son back to Colorado, where the whole family can say their goodbyes. Then it's back here to work and hopefully healing. Reporting live, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5.